Here's something fun to do. Let's talk about fertilized versus unfertilized chicken eggs. Hi, this is John at Happy Wife Acres. So whether your eggs are fertilized or unfertilized, you probably don't spend much time thinking about it. And you really shouldn't because from a taste perspective, there's no difference at all. Now, we have chickens, we have roosters. So a good majority, about 80% of what we have found of our eggs are fertilized. And people ask us a lot, how do you know the difference? How do you find a fertilized, non-fertilized egg? Uh, we've seen some crazy methods uh, on the internet about how people do it, but practically there's only one way to know the difference, and that is you got to crack them open and take a look. I'll show you how. But first, a couple of thoughts about eggs. If you buy your eggs from the store, they are not fertilized. The eggs come from chickens that are in a barn filled with 50,000 chickens. There's no roosters. You need a rooster to make a fertilized egg, so they're not fertilized. Second, if you buy eggs that are fertilized and you keep them on the counter, which we recommend that you do because ours are unwashed, unrefrigerated, if you buy them here from the farm, uh, they're not going to develop into a chicken by themselves. It takes an environment of 100 degrees Fahrenheit and about 60 to 70 percent humidity for a fertilized egg to begin development. So, in case you live daily in that environment, highly unlikely, uh, the fertilized eggs that you buy are not going to develop into a chicken. Okay? If you have heard stories, someone's told you, oh, I had a friend of a friend and they cracked open an egg and there was a chicken. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it was made up with one exception, and that is if they bought their eggs from a local farmer who didn't collect them every day and didn't have much quality control and so they were allowing hens to sit on them and then they went out and grabbed them and the chick was already developing. That's the one exception, otherwise you've just been told a fib. Last, if you do want to incubate eggs uh, and you don't want to order hatching eggs from a hatchery, come to a local farmer that has roosters. You'll get fertilized eggs in your purchase Put them in an incubator and you'll find that many of them do hatch. Okay, so just for fun, let's show you how to identify a fertilized egg. So in this bowl, of course a cracked egg, got the yolk, you got the white, part of the anatomy of an egg, uh, the, that white stringy stuff, that is called the chalazy. And its job is to hold the yolk in the center of the egg. So when the chick does develop, it's not on one side or the other. Uh, but do you see that white dot right there? Okay, that is called the blastodisc. And if you take any of your eggs that you bought at the store and you crack them a lot of times, that blastodisc will land up. I don't know why, but it does. Now let's take a look at a fertilized egg. On this egg, what you'll notice is that little white dot is still there, but now there's a ring around it. So it almost looks like a little white bullseye. And now it goes from being called the blasto disc to the blasto germ. There's another one up here. It's not quite as clear, but still you can see that uh, there is a ring around the dot. These are fertilized eggs. So there you have it, identifying fertilized, unfertilized eggs. It makes no difference what you're cooking and the taste, none whatsoever. It's just something fun to do and maybe something to share with the kids. All right, hope you enjoyed this, hope you learned something. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you soon on the homestead. All right, bye.